Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lamb. I will be walking you through week 20 of grade three social studies. And the content may be found on page number 54 in your workbook. So please go ahead and turn over there if you've got your workbook. If not, you're welcome just to watch on the board with me. So today in geography class, we are gonna be talking about variations in the environment. We started talking about geography last week. So today we're gonna to be talking about variation in the environment. The physical environment so there are certain variations in in the environment you know we don't understand why these things happen sometimes it may be because there hadn't been rain or maybe there was too much rain or it gets too cold but it is the study of geography to let us know all those different parts of the environment so let's look at climate variations let's see. okay so climate variations by hemisphere what is a hemisphere? A hemisphere is a half division of the Earth's surface, either vertically or horizontally. So if you have the Earth like that, that's the globe for you. You divide the Earth vertically like that, you are going to have a western hemisphere and an eastern hemisphere. This is western hemisphere, eastern hemisphere. Well, what about if you divide the globe horizontally? You divide the globe horizontally, you are going to have a northern hemisphere and a southern hemisphere. So we're gonna study variations based on hemispheres, but for this grade level, we're gonna concentrate on the eastern hemisphere and, um, and um, for the most part. So let's look at certain climate variations in the eastern hemisphere. So there is the subarctic sub climate. Oh God, subarctic climate. Uh, subarctic climate there is the tundra climate <laughs> the heard tundra all right what about the humid humid continental climate there is the desert climate and there is the tropical rainforest climate tropical rainforest okay so these are different different weather conditions over a long period of time based on different parts of the Earth's atmosphere. All right, so the sub subarctic climates that typically um, happens in inland Europe and in Asia. So it includes long and very cold winters, short summers, high altitudes. The tundra climate occurs far north Europe and Asia. Long and very cold winters, but short summers and no high altitudes. And in those kind of climates, the summer can be about 20, 24 hours of daylight. Can you imagine over there, certain days in certain regions all around the world, there is really no night anymore. It's just in the summer, it's gonna be completely bright for the rest of the day. What about humid continental climate? Well, the humid continental climate is the climate of many regions in Europe. It's characterized by mild and very cold winters to warm to hot summers. Rain falls almost all through the year in those regions of the world. What about the desert climate? Well, the desert climate is gonna be characterized by hot summers, mild and warm winters. They're not cold winters in those places, just really warm winters. Even the winter is gonna be warm over there. And those places include Northern Africa to some parts in Asia and Australia. What about the tropical rainforest climate? The tropical rainforest climate will be inclusive of warm summers, no winters. Central Africa and Asia are places where this kind of climate conditions are found rainfall almost all through the year. So these are different climates and they represent variations in the planet. The subarctic climate, the tundra climate, the humid climate, the desert, 
the tropical rainforest climate over there. So please go ahead and turn to page number 54 and page number 55. You are going to see exercises over there that can help you to retain this content we've talked about today. I want to thank you for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Until next time, bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you?